Yes, my peeps, welcome back to the Yardman Second Chance channel. Well, big up Father God, you know, you know, we do it over here, so we have a big up Father God for the preservation of life, because life are the greatest. Saying, and big up all my subscribers, a long time you know, I'm going to shout out. If you don't know, I want to call for a shout out, you know, because a big breaking news, Vibes Cartel and him co accused Sean Stan and St. John. Them get denied release today. I wouldn't even say bail because it was not bail application. Well, I would have like got put out this a cartel free and all kind of nonsense. But we are going to listen to TVJ. I listen to TVJ I go say and then we jump in at the review. Alright? Listen up. <music> Good afternoon, I'm Milton Walker. Welcome to TBJ's special coverage of a habeas corpus application on behalf of a Vibes Cartel, whose given name is Adija Palmer, Sean Storm, Campbell and Andre St. John. This today was not a bail application. Let's get that clear. The Supreme Court Judge Justice Andrea Thomas has ruled that dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel and two of his three co-accused should remain behind bars pending the decision of the Court of Appeal on whether or not they will be retried for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. Justice Thomas delivered a written judgment a short while ago. Now, attorneys for the men had filed a habeas corpus application Application requesting their release following the recent Privy Council decision to quash their convictions. Today's activity in the court, as I said, was not a bail application. It was a habeas corpus application on behalf of Cartel, Sean, Sean Storm Campbell and Andre St. John, which was heard before Justice Thomas yesterday. Now also outside, special security measures were activated at the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston ahead of this afternoon's ruling on whether or not Vibes Cartel and two of his three co-accused would be released. There were armored personnel carriers, members of the police SWAT team had created a cordon around the court. Now to talk to us a little bit more about the situation outside the court is Kirk Wright. Kirk? Yeah, Mr. Um, you're correct with um, what you said. Um, security was, have, they have been beefed up outside the court. We, see, uh, we saw um, a number of um, armored vehicles from the Jamaica Defense Force and the JCF. Um, in fact, I should tell you, um, when, it, when it just started, especially when it just started in court, we had much more journalists on location than we had supporters with a time passed uh, more supporters gathered and one thing though um, most of the people here were thinking that it was a bail application they're expecting that to see Carter relief so you know um, lots of times they have to be telling that it wasn't a decision to decide if he would be granted bail their thing here is Lloyd just came out of the courtroom and there was a rush a while ago by the supporters here to get to stop his lawyer who indicated that he had nothing to say. We actually tried to stop his but he sped away. I'm at the court now and the crowd is getting large, uh, larger. People are anticipating, uh, reading around, I'm sure, hoping to see cartels based on what they have been saying, that they're hoping that Cartel um, will be released and that, that they're looking for him. There's still much, a lot of media people out here um, trying to get interviews from um, supporters. But apart from that, um, the security forces are here and they're keeping a watchful eye on the crowd. Most of them now are gathered to the exit of the courtroom where it's expected that Cartel and his horses will um, be let out into the van to be taken back to their holding place. All right, Kirk, thank you very much. We expect the security presence to be maintained for a little while, uh, perhaps until the men have left the area in the <clears throat> the correction Department of Corrections um, vehicle or the police vehicle, which will be taking them back to the correctional facility where the men are being held pending the Court of Appeal hearing, which will be next month. Now, as we told you earlier, today was a habeas corpus 
application on behalf of Fives Cartel, uh, Sean, Sean Storm Campbell and Andre St. John. Uh, the Supreme Court Judge Justice Andrea Thomas has ruled that the dancehall entertainer and two of his three co-accused should remain behind bars pending the decision of the Court of Appeal on whether or not there will be a retrial for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. Justice Thomas delivered her judgment a short while ago. <clears throat> now, the main issue which was to be determined today was whether or not they were being unlawfully uh, detained, hence the habeas corpus application. Uh, <clears throat> the judges says the charges still remain and that the Commissioner of Corrections uh, is not holding them in breach of their constitutional rights. Uh, <clears throat> the, in refusing to release the applicants uh, today, the Commission of Corrections was also not, or the judge ruled that the Commission of Corrections was not acting in breach of the Corrections Act. She says that the appeal is not finished until the Court of Appeal decided on the issue of whether or not there should be a retrial. So the, uh, the issue at hand was the habeas corpus application, which was filed by attorneys for cartel, Sean Storm Campbell, Andre St. John, which was heard before Justice Thomas yesterday. Today, she delivered her, her <clears throat> judgment on the matter and that they should remain um, in custody pending the Court of Appeals um, hearing into whether or not there will be a trial. And how did we get to this spot? Remember, the men went to the Privy Council, Jamaica's final Court of Appeal. The Privy Council quashed the conviction uh, earlier this year, but it ordered uh, uh, <clears throat> the Court of Appeal, sent it back to the Court of Appeal to determine if there should be a retrial. Appeal has set those dates, that's gonna be I think sometime in June, and ahead of those um, hearings at the Court of Appeal, the lawyers for the men filed an habeas corpus application in the Supreme Court to get them released. It was not a bail application, but of course, um, we're gonna get much more from our legal analyst, Dion Jackson Miller, who was in court. Dion is out now, Dion stayed for the entire judgment, not just to hear that they won't be released. And Dion, can Dion, um, I think we may have lost the connection. Uh, this is live TV, so uh, <clears throat> things have happened. Dion, Dion, good afternoon. Can you just tell us, sum up for us uh, what happened um, in court and why the men were not released? Okay, well, I'm actually, um, the judge left the courtroom just a short while ago. I'm actually waiting to get a written copy of the judgment because she gave quite a, a detailed breakdown of her reasons. As you said, in short, Cartel and his co accused will not be released before the Court of Appeal has decided whether there's going to be a retrial or not. So the, the judge looked at a number of issues. She started out by looking at the issue as to whether the decision of the Privy Council that their convictions had been quashed and that the Court of Appeal was to decide on a retrial, did that translate into an order for them to be released? And she, she decided that that did not, in fact, so translate. She looked at whether or not the appeal had been determined, and her decision was no, the appeal has not finished. It is not going to be finished until the Court of Appeal makes its final decision. Since the appeal has not been determined, therefore, she said that there, the men are in fact being held lawfully in custody because the Commission of Corrections has not received any order from any court to release them. She looked at the issue of whether the charges remain and decided that yes, the charges are still valid. So the men are still charged. Having looked at that, she then looked at whether in fact they would be eligible for bail. So she looked at the new bail act and she looked at the fact that the bail act says that to be eligible for bail while you're waiting for your appeal to be decided, you would have to have been on bail before you were convicted. These men were not on bail before convicted. She also pointed to another provision in the Bail Act that says that people who have been convicted for murder are in any case not in the category of people who could be considered for bail 
pending appeal. So as a result, they wouldn't be eligible for bail. She then looked at the fact that this was a habeas corpus application. Habeas corpus literally means bring the body. So bring the body before the court. It's usually used in circumstances where people are being unlawfully detained. And she said a habeas corpus application like this can't be used to circumvent the proper processes of the court. And that in this particular case, the only court who can make a decision at this time in relation to the liberty of these men is the Court of Appeal because that is where the matter now is. So in short, Milton, to, to um, end as we began, no, the men, Kaitel and its court is are not going to be released before the decision of the Court of Appeal as to whether they should be retried or not. Okay, Diana, just quickly, there is no possible of, um, legal measure or uh, action that um, his lawyers can take. Essentially, now the next stage is the Court of Appeal hearing into whether or not there will be a retrial. Well, the retrial, the decision as to whether there should be a retrial, the Court of Appeal is going to start hearing that, I believe, it's next week, in, next week in fact. So we can wait to see whether or not, because I haven't had a chance to speak to the attorneys yet. So I, I'm not sure what it is their next move will be. It's always possible to appeal decisions, but you can be, what should I say, the timing in this particular case, I don't know what they're going to decide to do. I haven't spoken to them yet. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Dion Jackson Miller. We'll have much more on our radio program Beyond the Headlines and, of course, in primetime news. But just to recap, uh, <clears throat> special measures were in place today as the Supreme Court judge um, delivered a ruling in the habeas corpus application for dancehall entity in a vibes cartel and two of his three co accused whether or not they should remain behind bars pending the decision of the Court of Appeal on whether they are to be retried for the murder of Clive Lisa. Williams. Justice Thomas delivered her written judgment some time ago in the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston. Attorneys for the men had filed a habeas corpus application requesting their release following the recent Privy Council decision to quash their convictions. Today's activity in court was not a bail application. It was a habeas corpus application on behalf of Cartel, Sean, Sean Storm Campbell and Andre St. John, which was heard before Justice Thomas yesterday. Now, as you heard from Kirk White, special security measures were activated at the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston ahead of this afternoon's ruling. And we saw armored personnel carriers and the police SWAT team were um, down, deployed down there to create a cordon around the court but of course we'll have much more on this story in our bulletin at seven o'clock primetime news and we'll have break it all down for you what it means uh in primetime news so stay with us i'm milton walker so yes my peeps so no you are going there so it's not really a bill it's a abus corpus seeing for bringing body out for make him get released because I must say them are all him against him constitutional rights. Which the judge assured them say them not all them against them constitutional rights. Their rights not violate. Because for them get bail now, they may not for them on bail before. And them never did they on bail before. Let me get convicted. Let me just go straight to trial and then get convicted for murder. Right? So I wouldn't qualify for bail and them say people who get charged with murder again they wouldn't even get bail like that they wouldn't qualify for bail and they know a murder charge them depend so they must say they must leave it and up to the um court of appeal the jamaica court of appeal we have it in them hand because of them have a case right now saying and they have to wait upon them to figure out whether they are going to retry cartel or set him free which is June 10 so right there so at the, at the court of appeal I'm all the talk right now where them bring it go at the, at the, at the court today that could that now nah, do not now waste of time that seeing so everybody has a cartel are going free today by 2 o'clock and ray 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 and all kind of talk but the judge make them know say them na the court na violate them rights right now. I feel say cartel need a better lawyer, you know. Cause if he was a good lawyer, he would have known the facts and know say 
that nah go work, it can't work like that. You can't go around the court, brother. You have to work with the court. The court take time. See? You have to take time. That's why when you're inside a wait for court, it's called dead time. Like your time now nah, move it dead. See? So you have to wait for the court. Because the court moves slow enough, so you have to sit down and wait for it. You have to do the dead time. And wait for the court. See? So right there, so. You see, I think you want a better liar, you know. Jano. Man, I'm just a name out your money cartel. I tell you that, brother. Man, I'm just a name out your money, brother. They're not nah doing no justice. Because they should have known, sir. They're not going to take no money from you, but not a bus cop or case to try to get you out like that. When the Privy Council of England don't send it to the Court of Appeal of Jamaica, I have to wait for the Court of Jamaica to make them final decision whether they're going to retry it the case are set you free. See? But Jamaican people them just a make it bad for cartel, Jano. You know? Then for just back off and make the, 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 the case take it course. And make the court deal with it. And listen for the outcome. We should have better for cartel. Then they make a bag of knives and a ray ray. See how L.A. Lewis out there talk a bag of things. They're going to make it bad for cartel. Because when the, the court of appeal see all them things, they're going to more pressure and say they're going to try because no man is bigger than the system, brother. No man is bigger than the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the system is the government and the government I work for the king of England. And the king of England, which is the privy council, them, them send back the case. Them not even say cartel be free. Them never say cartel be free, you know. Them send back the case to the Privy Council. And say the Privy Council should decide whether they are going to release cartel or retry him. Them wash them hand clean. See? So, do you know? Them are going to make it more sticky for cartel when they are come out and I make a bag of knives and I go on. All this where the liar. I sat back and jumped the gun and I bring about Abel's Carpus case to the court. Him shouldn't even do that, brother. The man who said, Name out your money, cartel. Jano, you know? You're a general long time. The man, the man, Name out your money, brother. And I frustrate you more. The I just go and do your dead time till June 10 and go and pray. If you think work out. All this now shouldn't even come up. If you try to stir up people in mind and I say, What? Are that go on? Eh, they might go wrong way. I'm going to show them that we are the boss. And put more pressure upon your eye. Jano, brother. I saw your thing set still, you know. You don't know. I thought my look a review for what I go on, you know. See? You really don't know, you know, a Yardman Second Chance channel. I tell a friend, tell a friend about the channel, you know. Yardman Second Chance. And big up on yourself. We out, and we wish all the best of vibes, Cartel, because we general. We out.